Hello everyone and welcome back to Spain Disc Android. We are back again today with another informative video about Sweden and the topic that we're going to discuss today is the things that you need to pack when you're traveling to Sweden. And this video is going to be in English because that way we thought it would be useful for an even wider audience. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the first thing that we're going to discuss is the clothing. It's also probably the most important thing uh, that you need to consider when packing for Sweden. And depending on which season you're arriving on, I would say consider it accordingly. Uh, so for example, if you're traveling in winter, then you need to put more importance on making sure that you're prepared to face the winter, like the jackets, the gloves, and the beanies to protect your ears and your head. And also when it comes to the jacket, I would say pack a light to a medium one because it's much better if you buy a jacket here after arriving here because the ones here are really good and they are made to withstand the Scandinavian winter. It doesn't matter which season you're coming to Sweden, thermals is a mandatory I would say. Uh, apart from this winter where you can also get your regular clothes like jeans, t-shirts and hoodies. I would definitely say pack one or two hoodies because they would be your go-to clothing, especially in the winter. When, and when it comes to the footwear, I would recommend you getting a pair of woodland shoes that have like a really nice solid base because uh, it tends to get quite slippery here in winter. So the normal shoes wouldn't work as much because you have the risk of slipping over the ice. So I would recommend you getting a pair of woodland shoes. And also, I would also recommend you to get a couple of uh, pairs of woolen socks because they are really good at holding the temperature and keeping your feet warm. Especially in the winter when it's full of snow, your feet tend to get quite cold easily. So woolen socks is also recommended. And also keep a pair of formal clothes because uh, if you're a student, uh, then you might have instances where you might need to present uh, during a seminar or stuff like that. So a pair of a couple of uh, formal clothes would also be advised. And also if you're traveling in winter, I would recommend you to keep a pair of thermals in your hand luggage because even though it may be a bit uncomfortable and warm, when you're boarding the plane in India, once you land in Europe, you can immediately feel the difference in, in the climate and it tends to get quite cold. So if you have a pair of thermals readily in your hand luggage, you can just change it. And also I would say, keep a pair of uh, traditional or ethnic wear. Just one pair would be enough as you won't be using it that much unless during the occasions of our festivals. That's regarding the clothes. So the next items on the list are the kitchen items. I first want to make it clear that whatever utensils you are bringing with you, make sure it works on the induction as well. As uh, uh, most of the household in Sweden comes with the induction stuff inbuilt. So uh, make sure uh, your utensils works, works on the induction. And about the utensils, bring a pressure cooker uh, with an extra gasket and a safety valve and also bring maybe a basic fry pan with you. Obviously make sure you get all your spices with you. Uh, you can get the spices from here as well but uh, I think they are overly priced and also they doesn't taste the same. Uh, so I, I highly recommend to get all your spices with you when you are coming, uh, coming from India. and. Uh, if you are coming to Sweden for the first time, bring some dals or some rice with you and uh, maybe something like a instant uh, foods like maggi or soup, something, something like that so that you can hang in for the first few days until you get some idea of where to get your groceries or something. So these are the kitchen essentials you need to bring when you are moving to Sweden. And the next thing that we're going to cover are the electronic items. The most important thing when it comes to electronic accessories is the travel adapter. All our plugs and the charging adapters from India, they are not compatible with the sockets here. So you need a universal travel adapter. Even better if you get like two or three with you, 
just so they come in handy whenever you need it and also uh, make sure to get an extra like screen guard or the mobile phone case with you because the screen guards are also quite expensive here as they can cost up to around 200 to 300 crones to get your screen guard changed so it's much better and cheaper if you just get some extra when you travel and just change it yourself so the same applies for your uh, phone co cover as well and then i also recommend you to get a spike board or like an extension box with you as that will also be quite handy and then there's other stuff like a pen drive or a hard disk or a extra mobile charger or stuff like that so depending on your need just get them so that's about electronics but the most important things are like the travel adapter and the extension box and the next on the list are the personal items about that bring only the products that are really useful to you as you can buy all the basics like the moisturizers lip balms and sunscreens here and girls this also applies for your makeup as well uh, so bring only the product that you are really particular about if you have anything like that bring like a extras also as uh, the pr uh, the brands that you are using in india may or may not exist here so make sure you get your extras as well and the next thing that i'm going to discuss are the medical supplies so as if you have seen our cons video uh, we've mentioned there that the healthcare system in sweden is quite slow and sometimes it's quite stressful it's better that if you have some basic medical supplies with you uh, in case of when, when you need them i would recommend just visiting your family doctor and having like a basic uh, prescription for like fever meds and flu meds like for cold and stuff so carry the basic medicines and some basic antibiotics uh, for fever like uh, paracetamol ibuprofen and some other antibiotics for cold and also uh, carry with you uh, some pain relief uh, ointments like uh, tiger balm or like a volini spray and also carry with you some wicks or strepsils and i would also recommend a vaporizer especially in the winter it can be quite helpful in winter it's mostly dark so you won't be having that much of sunlight and as a result uh, a lot of people have uh, an vitamin d deficiency problems so also carry some vitamin d tablets with you and also some eno capsules like if you have some acidity or pro other problems like that for antibiotics make sure to carry a prescription with you in case needed and also i would suggest to keep all these medical supplies in the check-in baggage not in the handbag so that's about the medical supplies so far we've discussed all the essential items now we're going to discuss about some other items which you might need the first one are the bed sheets and pillow covers so uh, i would recommend just having like a set of uh, bed sheets and pillow covers with you please do not pack quilts as they occupy quite a lot of space and also it's much better to buy a quilt after you arrive here so please do not pack pack any quilt so just get like a thin bed sheet and some pillow covers and also a couple of towels and you'll be fine and then the next item or uh, get a pair of uh, glasses if you have like eyesight or something just have an extra spare set of glasses or contact lens if you use contact lens so so that you're prepared in case uh, something goes wrong with the existing one and also get your headphones with you and you'll you'll trust me you'll be using that a lot uh, even in the college when you're studying in the library or stuff it's quite common to just have your headphones on and uh, zoning out in your studies so uh, just have uh, your headphones as well and i would also recommend having extra set of like toothbrush and tongue cleaners with you and for students especially i would suggest get some basic stationery with you like some uh, pens and some notebooks and other stationery stuff that you might need so just 
and don't go overboard with it just have like some basic stationery with you because mostly in your universities uh, certain there are certain student unions which actually offer notebooks for free but in worst case just have like a few notebooks with you uh, just have an uh, extra spare set of waste belt as well with you in case you need it and the next item on the list is the puja items so we all know how indians likes to celebrate uh, our festivals so no matter which part of the world we live we like to offer our prayers or pujas uh, on on our festivals and that's what makes us feel uh, connected to our culture so i recommend you getting a basic puja kit with you so that uh, and depending upon your needs and the reach maybe you can add more items but a basic puja kit will work just fine the next thing that i want to discuss is the paperwork that you need to get with you when traveling so uh, it goes without saying and obviously you need to have your passport and visa and your flight tickets and apart from these if you're a student traveling to sweden then i also advise you to just keep a copy of your admission letter and all the academic related documents that you might need uh, for your uh, college uh, just like one or two copies is enough don't go overboard and uh, and also uh, get your vaccination certificate with you we don't know what the current status is in the airports as we haven't flown recently so just in case have your uh, covid uh, uh, vaccine certificate also with you and apart from this if you have an indian driving license get that with you as well because our indian driving license is valid up to an year here in sweden so it's valid from the moment you register as a resident in sweden to get your p number it's valid for an year from that so i would also recommend you to get your driving license as well so these are the basic essentials that we thought that one should bring to sweden uh, if you are moving for the first time and also this list might vary from person to person and also the most important thing that you need to consider when packing uh, things is that uh, how much luggage are you allowed to take in with you as check in luggage it and also it differs from airline to airline so please keep that into consideration and often we fall under this dilemma when we are traveling that no matter how much we pack there is always this uh, sense of uh, that maybe i left something maybe i should put that maybe this isn't enough so don't fall into that dilemma because most of the items in the list you can actually get them here as well so even if you miss out on a few things uh, you don't need to stress on it because you can get them here as well as long as you have your uh, basic uh, not not basic the most important things like the passport visa and your flight tickets that's how i see it every time i travel i have this stress and in the end when it's too it's too late even if you get stressed so all i think is okay do i have my visa passport and flight ticket cool everything else if i forget it i'll get it buy it again or stuff like that so don't stress on it and also even if you feel like there isn't much uh, luggage to get all the things you want uh, we would like to remind you that there is also this option of uh, sending your luggage in cargo in bulk so also consider that option as well so that's our video about the things that you might need that one needs to pack when traveling to sweden and we're also going to make a list of these items and uh, post the link in the description so feel free to check that out and also if we we might have also missed a few things in the video when we're saying it so don't be surprised if you find few more items in that list and we'll see you back with another one